Hi everyone, it's Dee's from Turtle Dove. Welcome to my channel. I just got back from grocery shopping um, and I've just put everything away, unpacked everything and I bought, I went to the browser in. So this is a, a combo haul um, from the browsing, Aldi and Kmart, which I actually bought back in May. And also I think this one was from Ned's Emporium and something little from eBay. So it's a bit of a mishmash today. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I want to unpack everything and put it all away. I'm sick of everything being in the bags. So let's start with the Aldi. Now this one I bought today. Um, this was $6, 20 pack velvet touch hangers. And I want to go through my um, wardrobe and just go through some clothes and I'm sick of having uh, everything very untidy and not enough clothes hangers and you know what it's like so yeah I bought those and I thought they were good for six dollars for twenty um, so I'll put that over the, on the side because that's quite big and heavy now I bought this probably a month ago from Audi. They had some artsy, craft, crafty things. Um, now this doesn't want to come out because there's some stickiness in that box. But this is a watercolour paint set. And it comes with this paintbrush. I might just come on the side to show you the closer comes with this paintbrush that you put water in and I just thought that was so neat um, and you can keep it safe on the side there and then this has uh, like a sponge on the top I'm not sure what you would use that for maybe just to dab the brush on there and now this flips out all these watercolours and you have a palette at the bottom which is really cool and then you have all your colours and the greens and the browns the reds and oranges and the yellow and white so I thought that was really good especially to take away with you you know if you're going away for a weekend or something and you want to just have something small to bring so yeah I can't remember how much that was I think it was about ten dollars definitely not more anyway so I've got that um, eBay I bought this and these are just like you can use them for shakers uh, these are I think they're sort of rubbery they're not clay and gingerbread men with Santas and there's quite a few in there so this is a small business and it doesn't say at the back who but I can't remember now because I bought this a couple of months ago so I just thought I would show you that now this is from Meds Emporium which I bought probably six weeks ago something like that um, I got some crepe paper Actually, that one may be from Cheapest Chips. It's silver. I've got gold, so I wanted a lot of metallics. They don't have rose gold or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, I bought that for crafting. I've got some... Now, these are from Ned's Emporium. I've got some wooden bees. Aren't they cute? I love these. These are really good for ATC cards and things like that. This is uh, just the puffy shaped butterflies and there's three sizes in there and they have an iridescent finish to them, they're really pretty and you get quite a few in there and then I bought these table scatters in the pinks and oranges and again it has the iridescent finish so you can use that for shakers as well 
I love these nylon flowers. They're really pretty. I wish they had more colours. So you just get three in those. And I've got some round flat back shell stickers. I have a few colours. So I've got the pink. And then these are craft vellum paper. Um, and they're really hard to come by. And I think actually I think these are from Cheapest Chips. Um, butterflies again. You can tell I love butterflies. But who doesn't love butterflies? They're so pretty. So yeah, vellum paper, especially patterned paper, is really hard to come by. Um, you know, unless you buy it online. So and the shops don't really have a lot of this sort of stuff. So when I saw them, you get four sheets. I think it was about three dollars. $3.50 a packet and then I bought this one um, the black and white vertical stripes with the gold hearts that's really pretty too so that would be good for um, any type of crafting and journaling now this is what I bought today from the browsing and save so this is just some random things. This is a colander, it's just a dollar. This is actually a Betty Crocker kitchen colander. And I need a small one that's plastic, just, you know, for letters and things like that. Just something small. I bought myself, being winter in Australia, I bought myself some of these soft and cosy slippers. And they have the non-slip uh, things underneath. So I go slipping and this is black with the white finish on the fur look and it has coloured polka dots all over it. So I thought that was really cute. The one I've got that I'm using now, um, it's just about had it, I had it all last year so that was, I think it was about five dollars. So I've got one of those and I've got um, myself a digital kitchen timer. That was normally six fifty for three dollars, and I'm needing this for when I record so that I can watch how long I'm recording for because I don't have a, a clock on the wall um, in my craft room. So that way I can keep an eye on how long the video is going for. I thought so that that was good value for three dollars, and a couple of things for when the grandchildren come around to play. This is a glow flyer for outdoor play, maybe when they go to the park, I don't know. Um, and you press the middle and it flashes different colours. So I just thought for a dollar that was good, down from $2.50 to a dollar. And then I bought this micro megaphone miniature voice changer. Um, down to $5 from $10. And I'll probably regret it because I'll probably make an awful lot of noise. But what I'll do is I'll let them play with it for 10 minutes, have a go each, and then I'll put it away. <laughs> I think it would be fun and a good laugh if it changes their voice. So that's that. That's from the browsing and save. And lastly, I went to Kmart back in May. <laughs> that's how long I've had this bag. Just sitting on the floor in the craft room. The 11th of May this is from. So I bought some more crepe paper in the party section. Beautiful pastel colours. The peach, purple, peach, lilac, pink and white. And I've got one of these as well. I thought I'd get another one. Rose gold bunting. And you can um, jazz it up. So I thought that would be nice it up where you want and then I bought some craft coloured paper just in different colours and I bought some metallic paper pack with assorted metallic and holographic styles so you get all those and then I bought some cardstock in all the pastels, so you get all those colours. Um, eight colours 
40 pages and they're 210 GSM paperweight. So, uh, anyway, I thought, yeah, I need to make some more. Um, there's birthdays coming up. I need to make some more cards. And I don't have a lot of just plain card stock. So, I thought I would be able to use that. I'll keep that in my stash. So, that is it. That is my combined haul. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.